Okay, now... Now it looks like I've got my audio back. Sorry, sorry about that everyone, having some uh, te technical trouble. Um, I am back, it is Sunday, which means, uh, which means rest and relaxation and uh, a little bit of pre pre searing action because it's fairly uh, fairly relaxing i think um where i left off last time i was adventuring with uh with the guy uh freezing barrage uh as soon as he sees me online he might be joining in here shortly and uh, he had to go a little bit early and i did a little bit extra on the previous weekend and uh, I also completed getting my collector armor from the uh, from the armor collectors in, in this area and other than that that's it's kind of it yesterday uh, again the way I'm kind of doing this oh hang on a little bit better better visibility that's probably why my green screen was freaking out earlier. It, it is Sunday and I'm just not with it, apparently. Anyway, um, Saturdays, I tend to... Oh, here's someone who need, needs help. I'll go. If... Uh, I like helping people out as they... Uh, I like helping people out uh, as as I can. This person's just doing the uh, res signet quest, so. Yeah, so Saturdays, a bit high key days. I'll, I'll run. Uh... <laughs> run dungeons. Yesterday I ran Tomb of the Primeval Kings. Which uh, was an adventure. Yep. Looks like she got it. Sure, she got it. Going back to town. What's she say? Cheers. Yep. All right. And left. Start, start a stream, already helped someone out. Feels good, man. Anyway, so yeah, Saturday, ran Dungeon, ran Tomb of the Primeval Kings, initially on hard mode, and it went better than I expected, uh, to be honest, but ultimately died. Then I took a quick break and ran it in normal mode with a couple of changes and succeeded. That video is available on Twitch and I also uploaded to YouTube for archival's sake. And uh, so today, Sunday, day of rest. Um, what I did on Sundays, I've started, not just started a new character, started a whole new account. This is not linked to my primary account at all, so I don't have any account-wide unlocks. Um, no heroes, no none of that. This is, this is a, uh, pretty raw Guild Wars 1 without any uh, any temptation of cheats and what I've done is I kind of wanted to do something a little bit opposite of the usual uh, warrior monk 
build that everyone ran, the old Whammo build. So I decided to go the opposite and instead run a Monk Warrior build, uh, which I thought might be interesting because warriors benefit from adrenaline. And, uh, but also a monk has, you know, four pips of uh, energy regen. So the monk skills can activate, you know, mostly independent of the warrior skills. Uh, I was also tempted to go with a monk primary and elementalist secondary, but elementalist secondary, you know, ele elementalist skills are very expensive. Uh, slap my dry goat, porn guild. PP and meat, man. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm a sword or axe wielding monk. And I did have a little bit of fun uh, discovering that I can uh, I can do a little bit of monk tanking as I was adventuring around. Uh, let's see if I can uh, demo this. I think find a group of melee. Uh, those are. Actually, I do need to go up here for a quest. A lot of these enemies, it's like, nope, they haven't noticed me yet. Well, they're going to notice me now. Oh, I lost my targeting. So those guys spread out pretty well. Not exactly the demo I was hoping to do. I'll have to look for some of the uh, blood swarms. Oh, I know where they're in, uh, like Regent Valley. I think. Oh, here we've got a little bit more of a. Keep myself up with healing breeze and periodically do my AOE acts. You know what? wake these guys up too. Heels. Now the axe, disappointingly, isn't an AoE on its own. It does have uh, the cyclone axe is an AoE. Hit all of them. Oh, I don't know if there's from the party. But I can at least, uh, I can tank this stuff to a degree. Mainly because there's no Mesmer enchantments around to strip off Healing Breeze. The minute Mesmers come around, I'm, I'm going to be in trouble. The reason I wanted to come up here is I believe there's a quest, uh, a gift for Althea, where you need to you know, try giving her multiple beautiful presents. And I think I already gave her two of them. Yeah, it looks like have them here so I must have already given them but there is a third item a beautiful pendant which I believe is in this chest right here Cane. opening the chest reveals a beautiful pendant we have it so I will go back and return this Wilton Pace I don't know if we have to do anything to the place. Oh, yeah. Ooh, my fire starter's really good. Heal a little bit more. It 
is funny these banned fire stars. They're level one, but their flare attacks just even a level one can really hurt. Alright. Board belt. So yeah, I believe I have uh, most of the pre-searing armor updates. And oops, that heals again. What did I say about Sunday being slow? Green is just not with it. It might make things entertaining. You'll see. But yeah, I think if I turn in this pendant, I should get a reward. Okay, so I'm level seven. I'm not. You know, on this character, I'm not trying to do anything fancy. There's a there's the pre-searing area. There's this achievement you can get for getting to max level, level 20, in this essentially tutorial zone. It's called the Legendary Defender of Ascalon. I'm not doing that. Not on this character. I did that once on my uh, on my primary account. And uh, it feels like it feels like once was good. Someone help me. That's Gwen. I think, but she's dancing around. She doesn't need any help. What's going on, Gwen? Hey, help you have a flower. Lies. You said you needed help. You don't need help. Gwen, actually, sort of an accidental tutorial uh, quest giver, but since I did a stream last week and I was joined up almost instantly with, uh, with another guy, apparently there's a bug that can happen. Gwen, spoilers, uh, shows up later in, uh, later in the game in one of the expansions, and if you do all these things to nice for her, like you you know, get her flowers, you buy her a cape, you buy her a new flute. Uh, because the scale down here broke her original flute, uh, she'll give you a, a special thing at, at the end of the game. But uh, apparently there's a bug that can happen if you initially adventure with other people where you might not actually get the broken flute, the initial broken flute quest. And that appears to have happened to me. I do need to figure out what what am I gonna do here. So, Path of Glory that takes me out of the tutorial area. I do have. Oh yeah, I was going to go. I wanted to go to Regent Valley just to try tanking some of these uh, groups of bandits. Sort of did a little bit of it back there, but. <sighs> but yeah, the theme in general for Priest for Sunday, and as I'm working through Priest hearing, very low key, very relaxing Guild Wars 1 hangout zone. Also swing by. There's a special collector guy in Regent Valley that was added a while back. He gives daily uh, collection quests and he'll give you gifts that can give you different buffs like a morale boost and things like that. I think he was added more, almost more specifically for the people who hang out exclusively in pre-searing. There's a number of characters you may have noticed back when I was in Aspon City. As old as this game is, there's still uh, 
bit of a dedicated base of players that like to hang out here because this is you know tutorial area is one of the prettier areas of the game It's going to take me a little bit to get to these bandits, isn't it? I'm high enough level that I don't really need to worry about aggroing too much. Things that are like level 2 and below generally don't aggro on you. The minute level 3 stuff shows up, that's when they start, start coming after you. So the problem with playing a a monk warrior, or even just a warrior in general, is melee attacks in this game. Needing to close the distance. And uh, I currently do not have any sort of run skill. I'd like to charge up, you know, and start to do, you know, run up in and start doing the attacks. Now, I will, at some point in the future, get a charge attack, but uh, here's a group. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get these guys to come down here with this group, because I think I can take six of them at once. Come on, guys. Oops. Invisible walls. I do not have a group action in here. Have these monks smite skills that are periodically activated as well. Cost a little bit. Oh, the healing beast ran out. Uh. So yeah, monk tanking of a sort. This guy's gonna walk by as I. Yeah, I, I saw you kill six of my guys there. That's fine. I'm, I'm not going to do anything all by myself. I am going to go see about this collector, though. Uh, this dailies collector. See what he's pulling you. See what he's collecting today. Because it's possible. Oh. Before I do, though, I should sell off some stuff. salvageable scroll highly salvageable scroll gets one wood what would it have give me if it given me if it wasn't highly salvageable three to five is that axe and this is five to ten yeah this is way better I think this might be the best axe you get in pre-searing unless you go to the uh, pre-searing elite area Form some char. We'll keep some of these collectibles here. The off chance that he's uh, the collector dude is gonna get them. So, so, so. Oh, sold too sold too fast. I lost a scale fin. Oh well. Collector's name is Nicholas Sanford, I think. After Tutorial Zone, he becomes known as Nicholas the Traveler. And you can find him. He, like, spawns randomly, you know, throughout the world. And it's a pretty big world. Uh, these two aren't going to aggro on me. And 
and if you can find him in the world and also give him his you know whatever it is he's looking for okay these guys might be a little more annoying to uh, can't tank them quite as easily because they're ranged. So Actually, you know what? I take that back. That's a little bit of work. I can sort of leash them all into a ball here. about having a monk having some heal skills. Oh yeah, there you go. nice because uh, I believe I've already got yeah I've got a belt there's a collector elsewhere that uh, for five scale fins gives you a belt but I've already got it yeah there's this little secret area over here it's actually very pretty it's through these uh, this little cavern here Get this little pretty oasis that Nicholas hangs out in. God, I'm dying for like a yellow dye or even a blue dye. I do not like this gray green color the armor, uh, the collector armor gives by default. So, yeah, a little nice, pretty area, you know volumetric rays and some ruins here but this is the dude Nicholas Sanford have you happened across five unnatural seeds I have not not today not yet I've got one um, I do know where there are some though My goal for the day is pretty much finish out these quests. I don't have a whole lot of them left to do. For right now, I'm just gonna kind of bum around a little bit though. See if the other guy shows up. I'll go ahead and farm some of these unnatural seeds first, see if I can't get some of those. And then I'll, uh, then I'll finish up some of those quests and uh, go out of tutorial zone I see to I say tutorial zone it's got to be like one of the biggest tutorial zones in a game ever it's like these are like there's what one two three four five oh no one two three four and then five this area up here um, and they're very large zones Somebody was asking once, it's like, yeah, how long does it take to go through the tutorial zone? You know, in this case, known as pre-searing. How long does it take to do that? Is it like a, you know, an hour or so? It's like, if you like mainline it and you do like nothing else, it's probably like two hours or so. But you have to be really efficient with uh, 
grabbing your quest and doing multiple quests at the same time in the same area. If you're just casually bumming around, you know, doing random stuff, it'll take it'll take you several hours. I think uh, last weekend I was in here for like two and a half hours or so, and we were semi-focused. But also sort of taking it easy. There's an aloe seed up there, but I think there's a lot more back around this way. See, this is my whole thing: is I've, I've played this game for like five or six years straight when it came out, then put it down for almost ten years. So both of these streams that I'm doing, the dungeon stream on Saturdays and then this stream, is just sort of me getting back in the game. The dungeon one is fun because it's like, you know, those are sort of harder areas. You know, how much do I remember? Do I remember anything of it? This on Sundays is a little bit more about just starting fresh. As it turns out I remember a lot about the game, but I also there's also some surprising things that I've forgotten. Very basic, yeah, there's a bunch of aloe seed guys. Mm. Oh yeah, and these guys heal, they heal themselves. There's one natural seed. Sword. There's actually a quest that spawns I think for rangers, that also spawns a ton of these guys in a different area. Oh, cards! Oh, oh, there. I was gonna say that was odd that he wasn't aggroing. Yeah, he's level five. He should have. Uh been more interested in me in, interested in, in me from the get-go, but it took a little while. Spiked axe. Well, I am not getting five other seeds. That's weird. Looks like it dropped a uh, dropped something, but there's nothing to pick up. Oh man, that that whole thing only got me one unnatural seed. I don't know if I feel like farming five of them. Yeah, there's a there's a group of drunk guys over here that they give a little quest to kill a bear. Although it's a little weird how they give it. I think you need to drink with them or something first before it activates. Sure. 
I'll go check them out and see. Hidden stash. Actually, while that's auto running, I'm going to check one thing here. Shield. What is my current shield? Six. All right, so that's better than the one I had. Inventory management in pre searing is an issue. I'm just going to salvage all this stuff because it's materials that I'll be able to use later. Oh! Okay, yeah, this. I do also have a scepter here that. Uh, for ranged attacks. If and when I want. Hmm, I'm going to need to go get another salvage kit, it looks like. Line symbol, yeah, I'll, I'll put that on my ranged offhand. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can't because I'm holding a staff. All right, never mind. Actually, you know what? No, I will put it there just because it frees up a slot. Guys are around here somewhere. I get down there. Must be back this way. Oh, there they are. time since pre-searing. I forget exactly the uh, routes. Oh, there's that hidden stash I was at. <laughs> if I just kept going straight. Oh well. Sometimes when I see oh got two of them. Alright. Sometimes when I see that skill activating that brutal mauling. Anytime I see a skill activating like that, my ranger brain sort of sets in. It's like, oh, a skill to interrupt. Wanna interrupt that skill? Oh, I can't. I don't have any interruption skills yet. Ranger was always my uh, primary. primary character, uh, my primary profession, so uh, I was a big fan of interrupting skills. It's almost like a game within a game. Can't I, can I interrupt that skill before it goes off? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Sometimes, actually a lot of times, I would try to interrupt a skill as it's activating. Wouldn't hit it in time. But it would hit their very next skill if they try to activate a, <laughs> a skill immediately after their first skill. 
used to joke with people. It's like, oh yeah, I'm, re I'm really good at interrupting quarter-second cast skills. Not on purpose. It's just that those skills would happen to be... What is this? Wolf? Yeah, he's going to come on me here. <laughs> Alright, let's see if these guys will do anything for me here. Another challenger. Canyons are the greatest hunters. Benton over there once killed a bear faster than I could drink. Well, I'm better. Oh, that's why I had to. I just had to talk to this guy. I think our new friend here is a great hunter. If you can kill a bear and return to us within three minutes, we'll share a drink with you. Um, well, I just killed two bears, and I don't know if there's a, another one around. Neil, who's this guy? Killed the two bears that were over there. Don't know if there's another one. Got a bear pelt. Proof that I uh, killed one. I'm going into brawl territory. There's. Up. Oop. All right. Well, never mind the bear. I have uh... Yeah, I think what I'm going to do after I clear these guys out. Gonna reset. And, uh, now that I know how to activate that thing, I'm gonna go back and do it properly, hopefully without killing bears along the way. Go grab this iris flower, though. How many iris flowers do I have? Oh, only seven. Apparently, there's a... Uh... Oh, nice, I got it without aggroing those guys. Apparently, uh, if you collect 50 of these red iris flowers, you can give them to that Nicholas Sanford, and he will give you a... Uh... He'll give you a small equipment bag, which is more more equipment spaces. Although it's only equipment spaces for equipped weapons. So like this, the fire staff, the sword, I could I could throw into that bag. I'm not gonna hang around here to pick up 42 more of those though. Um, I don't need spider legs. I'll go ahead and sell that off. My fun zone. Oh, it's at 755. That's 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 decent for pre-searing. All right, I'm gonna try these. Uh, try the drunk hunters again.
Goofy Spider. Yeah. I'm, I'm not fussed about those guys. Although, they are grouping up. I think I still get experience from them too. Experience scales off of level. Yep, experience. Okay. The higher level I get, the less experience I would get from these guys. I'm gonna get a little bit. Although I'm not that far into level seven. Once I start turning in all these other quests that I've got, uh, oops. I'll probably go up. Okay, so there's the two bears. Let's see if I can sneak by them without actually aggroing this this time. I only need one. I'll also try to you know actually no, I will grab this tree spider here. Just pull him a little farther away. The challenger, my companions are the greatest hunters this land has ever known. Benton over there once killed a bear faster than I could drink a shot. Our new friend is a great hunter. If you could kill a bear and return to us within three minutes, yeah. There's I'll do better than that. I'll come back having killed two bears. Exactly in imminent danger. Two bears. Wait a minute, why is the timer still running? It's just time to run back to him, I guess. It's the mug. Well, isn't that something? A dead bear and under three dead two bear. Two dead bears, man. Come on. Do your math right. Oh, that's that's where the beer was. They give me a beer as a reward. I'll drink it. One beer doesn't actually do anything, but if you drink enough beers it starts messing with your uh Messing with your uh, graphics, your screen starts warping in and out. Oh, and oh, I think it is time. To, oh man, I've got more spiders. You know what? Fine. I'll group you guys up. I'll try to group them. Some of those other quests. 
I should say doing some of the other quests I'm still not actually doing. Yeah, it's a shame no one's collecting spider legs. Alright, so, what are we doing? Opposition to the king. Uh, yes, there's a fear of a conspiracy to uh, depose the king and replace him with Duke Baradin. I've already questioned two out of three locals. I just need to talk to one more. Um, I believe there's a group of them just right there. I'll head north from Ashford here. Inventory check. And I'm going to trash this bear pelt because that's. It says it's a quest item, but I've already done that quest, man. This time, hang on, I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, I need to go to Aiden. Oh, deliver a message to Lord Darren. Oh man, I was just at Fort Rannick. I'll go back there later. Talk to Grasden the... Oh, uh, alright, I'll do this one. I'm, I was heading that way anyway. this axe. Also need to customize that sword. I don't think these Grawl will care if I just walk by either. Nope. This Aloe Seed might not like me. Oh, he's got a uh, stash. Nothing great. Capo. Opposition to the king. She will be my third. You must be joking. Not since King Doric himself had Ascalon had a finer king than King Edelburn. The only good royalist is a dead royalist, I say. Alright. Well, she's my third. So that quest ought to be yep, completed. I need to talk to Grasden. Here to collect the Baradins. Yeah. Looks like you could use a little assistance on the return trip. I'm certain Dwayne will be watching over you. I'll be fine. It's okay. What does Kasha have for me? Where can I learn more skills? Yeah, I've already talked to him. Another Menno is Ashford. Yeah, I've already talked to him. I don't know why she keeps giving me the talk icon. I've already done those. Oh well. Well, Devona is outside here. And I wish I had a run 
Movement skill. Jog faster. Oh, uh, there's a, like a little hidden quest here. You don't get an exclamation mark. Another man's correct has a standing order with me, nothing but the best bull for me. I thought there was a quest you could get from this guy, because he's got all these pigs running around outside the stable. I thought there was a quest you could get. You could herd them all in there. Get a little XP. Doesn't seem to be active, though. I have both of these. I can cash in. Duke's people are loyal to Aelburn after all. I'm pleased to hear that. Yeah, so correct. Alright. Aiden and the Hunter's Horn is like way down here somewhere, I think. Hmm. I almost wonder what the fastest way to get there is. Well, I'll turn this one in at Fort Rannick. And then probably come back to Ashford. Ranger in all black. That, that's a character that's been here for a while. Black die is... Uh... Yep, Ranger 20. Why, though? Getting black die in general is tough. Getting it in pre-serum is. What's this? A letter from the Duke? Oh, I see. The good Duke suggests that I am not doing enough to serve Ascalon. See what he says here. I trust you and your men, being so far from the conflicts of the wall, have ample resources to hunt down the char. Passive aggressive much? Between you and me, Baradin is, is fortunate he is so skilled a warrior, else he'd learn to regret being such a poor diplomat. diplomat. In any case, message has been, has been received. You may consider yourself dismissed. Oh, I've got a hammer now. I don't know that I want to uh, be a hammer monk, though. You know, I will actually take a look. What are the hammer skills? Oh, I only have one hammer skill. Causes knockdown. Hmm, not wild about it. So, I think these other two I can get from even from Foible's Fair is probably. Oh, hang on. That cannot be salvaged. It can be trashed, though. Right. Yep. If I do worry about a hammer, it won't be until I get more hammer skills. I will sell. Oh, that's actually decent. Hey there, Doom. Welcome back. Today's pre searing casual day. We'll put this on. Uh, even though it's not useful, I'll put it on my offhand there if I'm using a staff. Something I should do, I should keep half an eye out for a better staff. But I am focused on either sword or axe. Yeah, doing. Uh, guy in chat was a big fan of this sword, oops, which you can't see until I go outside. Crystalline sword, yep. This one. Uh, today I'm sort of running a little bit more with the axe. 
because I've been uh, doing some roundup everybody into a group and then just do some AoE axe stuff, which right now I only have the one skill that does AoE. Uh, let's see, what am I doing? So that's Aiden. Let me go do... Wait, what? I'll talk to Relaine though. Got so distracted showing off the sword. Forgot to talk to NPC. <clears throat> What's going on with you today, Doom? Anything exciting going on? Anything exciting for anyone in chat? So I got three people in chat. The Wayward Wizard. I can tell you where Orion went. He headed out northeast past the road. He thinks you'll find some royalists there. The ambassador thinks it won't work. I hope he doesn't get himself killed, but he can't expect me to go chomping all over the mountain looking for him. Yeah, Orion it actually becomes a henchman later on. Nothing much helped a streamer with end mission war and cry to Oh uh, yeah. I I remember I remember that one. I you know, honestly, I wish you could redo that one. I wish that was a repeatable quest. I don't think it is though. Yeah, if I attack one more get all of these. Nope. Well here. I'll I'll make them all. I'll make them all come to me. Only bounties are repeatable, yeah. Oh, and actually, uh, I was looking that up because there was a bow, you may have noticed yesterday. On yesterday's stream on my Ranger, I had a new bow. It was the War and Crida bow. I went and farmed the, uh, some of the Hearts of the North missions with Kieran Thackeray. Not a fan of him, but his quests are quick and they do give out, you know, war supplies pretty quickly, so I was able to get that bow. So I finished the oppressor's weapons. Oh! Welcome DJ there. First time chatter. Welcome. If I try, I can probably finish Elementalist on my warrior tonight. Or Ele Elementalist tonight. It's cool. I've been scatterbrained for a few days and wasn't able to really focus on anything. Man. <laughs> yeah. You want to see scatterbrained, you should, you know... So I'm done with the stream you, should stream, you should go back and watch how I was starting the stream. I had to restart the stream like three, you know, like three times. I was just constantly just tripping over myself, tripping over my hands and not doing anything right. It just feels like one of those days. It's like, yeah, I just can't. Now I'm okay. Now I'm, I'm settled in. I'm settled into my chair. It's... As long as I'm not trusted to do anything special, I think I might be able to survive. I am sort of enjoying this, uh, this monk tanking thing, even with the limited amount of skills that I have. Reminds me a bit of the old days when I did the uh, 55, the 55 monk. But you know, speaking of 55 monk, I don't think I, I think I have yet to see the uh, the minus 50, the special the Grim Sesta that I'm supposed to get with this hearing. I don't know if I picked up that quest. I hope I didn't accidentally trash that group sister. That's possible. I thought I was going to have to grind Luxon points for the quest to continue the campaign, but I dodged a bullet by having enough faction points saved up. I can essentially skip it. Yeah, I don't miss, I do not miss farming uh, faction points. 
apparently I did that. You know, back on my primary account. Oh wait, there's a there's a fire starter over there. I, it's funny, I, again, you know, I hadn't been around for so long, I've forgotten what all I did and didn't do. But the other day, I did go into my Hall of Monuments, and I had on the armor statue, oh, here comes a, another bear, on my armor stature, armor monument, I had obsidian armor for my ranger, and I also had elite cursor armor, which I completely forgot that I had done. Apparently I had done that. I mean, I must have. My primary ranger does have God walking amongst uh, the mortals. So I must have maxed out at least one of those titles. Must have been Kurzik, because that's sort of how our guild went. Went the Kurzik way. Minus 50 HP Sesta is a post-searing ass Really? I thought it was a pre-searing. I thought it, you got it off of something in the catacombs. 10,000k faction, just vanquish on another character. Nice. Yeah, as I was, I've looked through a couple of my characters and I think for like title farming and everything, I really just focused on my on my ranger. All my other characters were sort of left in various states of uh, incompletion. Although I have been thinking more and more about uh, doing more on my paragon. Because I did enjoy the Paragon for a while. There's another stream where I follow who's big time on, on Paragons. Uh, I was chatting with him and he was like, do it, do it, do it, you've got to do it. Because of course he wants to run an entire like full eight-man team of just nothing but Paragons. So, I'm like, that's cool. I don't know, I'll need to see. I'll need to remember how to even play, play Paragon. There's Orion, the Flake. Challenge missions, the new Elite for Paragon is crazy good. It's good, but it's boring, like most Paragon builds. <laughs> yeah, Paragons, you know, from what I remember, it's more sort of standing in the back and shouting, you know, party buffs at everyone. You're not doing so much... Uh, direct attacking. I mean, you do have attack skills. You throw a spear around and everything, but... Is that... Oh, that was from Sandra Ely. Oh, that's her... His sister, I guess, gave this quest. Alright. Well, I also have the Hunter's Horn, which is... down there. A little bit of an expedition, but I've cleared most of this way, at least. It's fine. Three plinths in pl three plinths in three separate missions in post. Oh, for the uh, Grim Sesta. Okay. Well, that's good. It means I haven't accidentally uh, accidentally missed it. Numbers are addicted. 100 DPS on my Ranger Warrior. That's using the Paragon uh, skill. What, so what is the uh, Elite, the PvE? Is that the skill? Is that the Anniversary skill, I guess? Because I missed out on those. I mean, Dune helped me out and get the Ranger one on my character uh, last week. Uh, I think if I remember, the city is called Cities of Asquan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh... You have to go visit, yeah, three monuments, one of which is in the, uh, is it the Ruins of Sermia mission? Yeah, I, I remember that now. That's 
Wow, I, I could have sworn it was in pre but uh, it does make me feel a little bit better. It's, it's something still to do. I have no intention of doing 55 HP Monk, but it is definitely something that when I get it, I will throw it in the bank for later. Because I think you can still do 55 Monk on some stuff. Before. Yep, that's the one. Fifty five still works. Yeah, that's good. I mean, as long as there's no enchantment stripping or if you're running a spell breaker. I guess because that was how we 300 HP or 600 HP has more places 55 isn't viable yeah I don't know much about the you know 300 to 600 actually I don't know anything about them I d have a dim recollection of uh, running underworld as a duo uh, I had a guild member and he taught me how to do it. it was a spirit a spirit bonding build i guess he he was a warrior and he'd cruise around he'd take all the aggro and i would just maintain enchantments on him very passive on my part but that was fine let him take all the risks that was many many years ago i think that was before they even added the uh the enchantment strip stripping uh, fiends in uh, in underworld, and of course now there's also skeletons of doom with their uh, with their big AOE reign of what splinters I guess. Man, you can make me fight all these bears. So run. If I fight, there's going to be at least two of you in the. Oops. How far will these bears fall? Oh, they're all just disengaged. Well, you know what? There. Okay. Good time. Yeah, this is funny. Group, grouping all the guys up like this and attacking. It really does remind me of the old days. You know, doing like 55. 55 Monk. Like, yeah, group up and hit me. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't hurt. Oh, although I need a bit more energy to get uh, you know, these up. Well, I'm actually not really in, in imminent danger. I'll just bring these guys down. I for keep forgetting that Cyclone Axe actually eats up energy. Executioner's is a gen one, but Cyclone Axe takes energy and that takes away from Killing Breeze. Echo. Vengeful was kind of more fun. You let them hit you and they die doing so. I vaguely remember doing an. Uh, I remember using that skill for a build. It must. It must have been that one. I don't remember anything about it. Beyond that, yeah, hold, holding ashes and just letting guys hit you. Really, you guys are gonna do this? Be a great ritualist to heal and beat. Yeah, so what was. Uh, it's been ages since I looked. What vengeful was can I actually do? So I'm guessing as you hold his ashes, attacks actually heal you. 
or something like that. Favorite location in pre searing this village. Yeah. I, uh, the whole of pre searing is, is nice looking. It's actually one of the things I liked most when they uh, added. I don't know why it keeps giving me bear pelts. This. Oh, I just aggroed this guy too. I don't know why it keeps giving me these bear pelts because I did I did this quest a while back. I don't need bear pelts anymore. All right. There's a collector in here, isn't there? I don't know if he gives anything good though. Oh, there's the town. Vengeful is Kanai. Attacks steal health. Yep. Hence the echo, so you can have it up. You know, you can have it up essentially twice. Does the echo cover the recharge time so you can have it the whole time? Or is there still, even with Echo, is there still a, uh, a little area time you have to cover? Hmm, okay. I'll have to look that up. I did use uh, one of those builds to farm way, way back in the day. I forget where. And what I was farming. If you echo it once, the first is back up before the second is used. Okay, so it does cover the time. Okay. Oh, that's right. There's a bunch of spiders around here. You know what? Actually, since there are multiple spiders. Group them. Get them all to pop and group up. No, really? Just these two? Okay. I'll take it. I'm not to worry about healing. They're not hurting enough. Mixed with vengeful weapon for more. Oh, yeah, okay. That. That is also ringing a bell. Spider web. Aiden, I have a hunter's horn for you. What a beautiful horn. You needn't see you needn't say who made it. I can see Chantal's workmanship in every grave and detail. I can also see that this horn has been purified in some way. Can it be that it was healed in a healing cleansed in a healing spring? Truly this is the finest hunter's horn I've ever seen. I'm deeply great deeply grateful. Gives me a flat bow. You know what? I need to. It's a uh, standard Guild Wars operating procedure. You should have a bow. Um, equipped for pulling. I'll just have a long. Whoa! Wait a minute. That was not what I wanted to do. I need to action. My inventory is. Oh, because that unequips the shield too. Okay, so I do that. Put the bow on. Pick up the fire staff. Okay, compare the fire staff. Five to eight, energy four. Yeah, that's worse. By the way, logged on to my Perma Pre. Got two purple shields not using if I want. Um I appreciate the offer. You know, I don't know, I don't know if I do. Don't get me wrong, I, I do appreciate it. On this account, I'm kinda thinking of going without uh not necessarily without getting uh trades, but sort of getting uh just getting drops as they come. I'm gonna keep this sword for a little bit. It's uh, 
it's actually reasonable. cheap yeah again I, I, I appreciate it but it's like that's actually kind of part of the fun of the game is you know possibly getting a drop but it's like is oh is this drop one percent better than what i have oh it is yes perfect i think that's all oh man i am just about to go to post it looks like I was uh, initially starting out, and I was going a little bit slow because uh, there was a guy that we're Seeker Volk. Oh, I wonder if that's uh, I wonder if Volk is online. He's another uh, Guild Wars One streamer, or he's been streaming a, a new run at uh, Guild Wars. I'm gonna take a look around town and make sure no one else has a, a quest because I might have some follow-ups. Didn't quite get to level 8. Nope. That guy doesn't. Yeah, there was a guy uh, Freezing Barrage that uh, he was running an Elementalist Ranger last week and we were running around together. And he checked in with me yesterday seeing where I was. Oh! Uh, Prince Rook's got something for me. So I wasn't sure if he was going to join in today. I haven't seen him yet. This char, did you and Devona witness leading Grawl worries me greatly. I've questioned the guards and many of the townsfolk, but none have seen him. I suspect he's moving through the catacombs to move the countryside unseen. My men are all busy safeguarding the wall, and I can spare none of them. If you're willing, I'd like to send you into the catacombs to see if you can find any evidence as to where this char has gone. Talk to Brother Menlo. All right. Not quite going to post. I have one more thing. Oh, weird. That's wild. That's a long bow, but it's got a short bow skin. That's, uh, that's unusual. No, yeah, it doesn't equip in town. But it is better, and it doesn't have a marksmanship. Staff, what is my staff currently? Five to eight. Mm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too impressed. I'm not even really using staves at the moment anyway. I will sell these two and also sell off some of this other stuff too. One of these guys customizes. Oh, hang on. Can I get anything? And yeah, that one's better. Five to ten plus five. Oh, this one's much better. What about the sword, the bin blade? Ten to fourteen requires sword. Let's ship. That's better. This one's more of a casting one. I'm not really doing anything with the sword yet. Or I was last time. This time, today I'm more in more of an axe mood. Especially if I'm going into the catacombs. Um, I do not... Oh! <laughs> this whole time I've been running around with a sword or with an axe and I had all my points in sword. Shame on me. I have failed. Well, now I'll suddenly be doing more, more axe damage. I will see. Oh, hang on. There's a skill dude here. Is there a skill trainer? Was there always a skill trainer? In? My service reserved for those who serve the Ascalon variant mode. Oh, uh, okay. So that's if you're going for LDOA. If you, if you get up to, like, what, level 10 or something? Or level 12? Okay. 
can get some extra skills. I did not remember that. I'm pretty sure when I did my Legendary Defender on my primary account, they had introduced... Uh, anyone willing to sell me a Char Salvage Kit? I do not have any. I'm going to sell this Unnatural Seed. I'm not doing the uh, Nicholas thing today. I'm pretty sure Langmar was introduced. I don't remember the Skill Trainer being there. Alright, let's see. Just go to talk to Menlo and then go into the catacombs. Char Ranger South of the Wall, Rurik is right to be worried. I have seen nothing but perhaps Mistress Moon and it can offer some assistance. Much more knowledgeable in the catacombs. Nice way of saying that she crawls around in caves more than he does. Char in the catacombs. Rurik is wise to suspect the char of moving through the, through the catacombs. They are fraught with much danger, but if you are familiar with them, they could leave you to almost any region in Ascalon. Seek out Oberon the Reviled. Right, Oberon. Well, I've got this quest running. I might actually end up making it to level 8 before I go to post. We shall see. This is another reason I'm running Axe. It's like, oh yeah, if I'm going into the catacombs, these guys do not bleed. Oh, did I like lose my adrenaline? How to get there? I believe it's down this way. Yeah, group aggro time. Maybe. Oh. What? Oh, they're not even going to try to follow? I guess level ones, their their heart just really isn't in it. I wonder if these guys, because these guys are all relatively close. There, there we go. And if it hears these guys, oh, no. These guys take double damage from smiting, so. so smite skins are nice. Shield, Skeletal Loon, Wood Buckler, Armor 4. My current shield is 6, but this does have a bonus. 28 while in a stance. Well, my only stance is Frenzy. <laughs> I'd have more health, but I'd be taking double damage. That's not much of a, not much of a benefit. There's a path back here, isn't there? Because that other way, I think I need a minion. The raise minion skill to trigger that flame geyser. I'll keep the spider webs. I'll salvage them all later. I know they turn into like glittering dust. Uh oh, hello. So I did have a question, because uh, I think I talked about it briefly yesterday. I've been hearing, since I came back, I've been hearing a lot about like this Iron Man challenge, I guess. It's not a build so much as just trying, I guess, to be more of a purist as you're playing through uh, Guild Wars. And I looked at this page that sort of had it summed up. A, I don't know if there's an official Iron Man challenge. 
but this one that I was seeing had like these different levels. One of them was like permadeath, you know, you die and that's it. But uh, Ultimate Iron Man is solo. So like no teaming up with anybody, no nothing like that. Because there was one of them that talked about just not even using the Zumline chests. You know, no no banking at all. Which I, I would get, you know, not, uh, not equipping stuff that you've gotten from other characters that are like maybe higher level, that makes sense. But man, can you not even use like the material storage of the uh, Zumline, I guess? Well, I guess you wouldn't be able to, because, I mean, your material storage would be a mix of all your of stuff you've gotten from other characters. So, yeah, that could be seen as a cheat, I suppose. Solo, whole part of the game, as it was meant to be. Kill-wise, but never team. Eh, it's a way to ch challenge yourself in the game. Change it up a bit. I respect that. Skill. Although currently on this character, I feel like it's like if I wasn't into something like that, I could use this on my chest since I have no other characters that would be dumping materials in anyway. But, uh... Although, if you are getting into materials, trying to keep materials in your actual inventory. Trying to fill up your inventory so fast, man. Pretty sure this is the right way because I seem to remember all these spiders on the way. Like a core ultimate Iron Man would only buy core skills. So I do sections of the game or the whole game, but just when you get to Lion's Arch, you know, no tri no tripping to camp, the uh, no, you know, buy no buying the armor from the other places and no getting skills from the other places either. I'm thinking I'll probably do that. I mean, I'm not going to call it Iron Man, you know, because I'm not going to go that extreme, but I am, I think I am going to try to play through this character on prophecies, you know, without going to, you know, when you hit Lion's Arch, not going to Kainang, you know, not going to Kantha or, uh, or Kamadan, not getting any heroes, you know, just purely, uh, can I play the game with nothing but, uh, nothing but skills and henchmen as they were originally. I mean, I'll use, I'll use henchmen for sure. But I'm not going to equip any heroes. Char in the catacombs. Come here seeking Char. You are wise to seek out Oberon. For no creature, be they living or dead, moves through here without my knowledge. This Char that you seek comes often to the underground, but he does not make his lair here. The spirits of this place would not toler tolerate him should he seek to take up residence. If you require proof of his presence, take this. It's a token he left behind during one of his encounters with the denizens of this place. Now then, leave me to my studies. Return to the world of light. Alright, so he gave me something to take to Rurik. Sharp claw char tooth. Alright. I'm gonna turn this one in at Rurik, and then I'll jump around. I'll go to Baradin's estate, and then back to Fort Rannick, just to make sure I don't have any extra green exclamation marks here that I'm missing. The late. Since you were leave, leaving pre, carry to ferry some items for me. Yeah, I'm I'm all right to do that. Uh, let me jump around to the different towns real quick, just to do a, a last check, and then I'll I'll meet you back in Ascalon. Uh, 
he's got nothing, they've got nothing. Oh, let me check. Did not quite make it to eight. Oh well. Buy a salvage kit. I always have an ID kit and a salvage kit on me. I'll sell that buckler. Limb, buckler, spider leg. Do I have anything else I don't really care about? Nope. All right. So, Baron and Estate is clear. Fort Grenick. Do I have anything here? I guess Lord Darren is the only one who might give something. Nope, he's got nothing. Foible's fair, I guess. I already know that Menlo doesn't have anything for me. Nope. Guys, I'm getting a little teary-eyed. It's like, uh, there's nothing left to do in pre. I mean, unless I wanted to grind, you know, so I could actually go up and farm in the Northlands, but I don't want to do that on, on this character. I might roll a... Uh, I might roll a Ranger. I mean, right now, this is the only character I have on this account. Um, so yeah, DJ Gaidan, I don't know what your character name is or anything. Old Man Gaidan Waves. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Uh, let's see, how much space? Oh yeah, I've got like 11 spots. Ah, I see. All right. Uh, Ashfiend and the Gifts of the Huntsman. Alright, I shall put these down here, keep them separated from my stuff. And I will see you in post in uh, five or ten minutes, or however long it takes me to run this. Like, actually, yep, that's the last thing. <sighs> it always, always is a little bit sad leaving pre. I'm ready to leave everything behind. So, sorry, uh, Freezing Barrage, if, if you tune in later. I uh, cashed in all my quests, moving on with life, you know, moving on into the desolation here. I do remember, though, what you said. Uh, if I ever come across an icy bowstring, an icy weapon, an icy bow with an icy bow skin or a string. I shall try to keep it. That'll be more on my main account, though. Oh, that's right. I have to wait for Rurik. One of the few times you actually have to wait for Rurik. Most of the time, you're like, "No, wait, stop." I'm sorry I could not join you before the skirmish. I was delayed by official business. He was delayed by me. I wanted us to watch the battle together. Sir Titus did not exaggerate when he spoke of you. You've shown great promise today. I've been keeping the prince informed of your deeds. After seeing your courage for himself, I believe he is convinced. I am. I have come to induct you into Ascalon's vanguard. We are the elite protectors who guard our nation when threatened from within or without. As part of the vanguard, you are needed for a critical mission before we can begin our offensive against the Char. Our sentry spotted Vatlaw Doom Doomtooth and his warband in the old bunker outside behind the Citadel. He must have found a passage that led here from the catacombs. Whatever his purpose, it can be no good. As soon as you are ready, the prince himself will accompany you to cast this char fiend out of our land. <coughs> Too much talking. All right. Journey with Prince Rurik. Come on, Rurik. These char are detestable. Hardly better than dung-eating vermin. Yeah. 
tell, tell me how you really feel there. Is he coming? Yep. Oh, he's, uh, he's actually going to behave. Can you actually go up the path here? Does this actually go anywhere? I think you're meant to go the other way, but... I don't know that I've ever seen this path here before. Actually, where are we even? Oh, okay, so here's Ascalon Cities here. We're over. Yeah, all right. Oh, we can see him up there. So this, this just loops us around a slightly different way. That's fine. Take the long way around. Yeah, a little more pre-searing. Although I am excited when when I get out of pre-searing to check the skill trainer. It's like, can I find? Can I, you know, can I get charge? You know, can I get a run skill. I need. I need a. I need a movement skill. We're all shaman. Yep. too much about picking stuff up, but it is free money. I mean, not a lot of money, but a little bit helps when you're starting out. Nope. A little bit. And like I say, I don't have a, I don't have a bank with uh, this account with uh, thousands of platinum. Whatever I've got in this character's purse is all there is. Bring your foul self to my blade. What is it that Gimli said in Lord of the Rings? Bring your pretty face to my axe. Something along those lines. It was on that day that the Char discovered a way around the Great Wall, a way to bring it down. This is where the true story begins. Two years later. So I have a question. Have they ever explained that? Like, where we've been for two years? Like, did we get... We must have gotten sent on some mission, like, way the hell away. while the searing happened and we're just like just now getting back I guess because I don't know that uh, they actually ever really explain that I love that Tarbosh has barrage <laughs> can you imagine if uh, you could actually have like a signet of capture right there I mean I know you don't get a signet but you get to Lion's Arch but still 
you know, capturing barrage, you know, right off the tutorial. That'd be hilarious. Welcome back. Looks like the patrol went well. What patrol? You're still in one piece at any rate. Listen, Prince Rurik sent me to ask you a favor. You've been in the field, so you probably haven't heard about this. We have some friends. Oh, they're down there. Uh, an ambassador's arrived from our old enemy, Krita. They can help us fight the Char, but the king won't even talk to him. The prince hasn't been able to make any headway with his father, but he knows the king trusts Titus, and Titus trusts you. Would you perhaps talk to War Matter Titus about this matter? He's in his usual place in Asklong City. Sure. Oh, yeah. And uh, DJ, I assume you're... Oops on the way. Oh, that devourer is down there. Okay. DJ, I assume you're waiting for me in uh, Ascalon here. Want anything for the fairy? Nah. Freebies. It's fine. Like I say, I kind of want to uh, I want to earn it. Guy Dan, I assume that's you. Oops, where's my bag? So gifts, Max, and that armor. There you go. And Dancing Queen. Somehow I actually, you know, had a random thought as I was driving around doing errands earlier today. It's like, yeah, for like a, a break, like a be right back screen. You know, kind of like that. I should make, like, just a male elementalist, you know, because, of course, their dance is so iconic. And dub over uh, Abba's Dancing Queen on it. Do it. <laughs> it's like, I won't actually level him. He's just there, just purely for the dancing, you know. So. Buy bags, yes, two bags, and I can I can afford one rune. You know, actually, I probably should have hit the skill trainer first, but oh no, bags are important. I wonder about that. If I put if I put Dancing Queen like on a video of a. Uh, the elementalist dancing. Do you think I'd, I'd get a DMCA strike on me about that? I wonder. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely clear on where the legality of all that stuff is. Go invest in sunlight. Oh yeah, sunlight. 188. Well, I think I can open up the sunlight. I don't know that I can get the craft, the uh, material storage. Let me check for uh, skills first. Guardian. 50 gold. Okay, so I can get my first skill. Two seconds, 50% chance to block. Hmm. It's maybe not horrible, but uh, it's. I'm most interested in getting something like charge first. But yeah, let me hit Zomai first because that's that's important. Actually, I think it's funny that you uh, that you pinged me on that there, Dune, because last night I was watching uh, Rika on Twitch because she made it over to post and at some point oh yeah I have to talk to the agent first and at some point she left town and I was like oh, Rekha you need to go talk to the Zilmai agent you know purchase a storage account yes review upgrades crafting material storage 250 oh I can afford both nice which means oh hang on Crafting material storage here. And I can also salvage this stuff and get a bunch of glittering dust right out of the gate. I'm going to need to go buy another salvage kit. Military Matters mission gives you sprint. All right. I'll keep an eye out for that. What's my funds? 88. I think I can buy another regular salvage kit for that. Yeah, 
guess just I am poor once again Oops. I am gonna check the crafters though to see I don't know well I don't have enough material for an upgrade let alone money but still I will check the armor the armor people Rune Trader. There's two armor guys. Oh, I can actually get a new. new thing for uh, a little bit of this. 15, 15. Oh, and I can also get like a very minimal. Very basic pair of uh, I'll check the other guy too though. This is armor fifteen. What's the other guy? Oh, oh, but I can't afford that. That's that is higher armor level though. Yeah, I think I'll try to save for the higher armor level. All right, so there's some quest guys around here. Don't talk to me about the Crichton Ambassador. I've been getting an earful from both sides. Do you know what? why King Edelburn trusts me? Because I know where my loyalties lie. King and country. God. I can't say king and country without remembering what's his name from The Witcher, the Netflix series. For king and country! Let's see. Balthazar preserved them both. Perhaps joining the Prince's Vanguard has confused you, but Rurik is not the ruler of this kingdom. Now listen to me. The king's already given this matter much consideration, and the likes of you and I best abide by his decision. All right. King's message, important message, go deliver this royal message of screw off to Ambassador Zane of Krita. His camp can be found just outside the city. I don't trust these Krytons. I want you to take someone with you, take Elysia. All right. So we've got that. I think there's another, uh... oh, Simon the Scribe here. He's, I think he's got something for me. It's that way to the Great Northern Wall, which is first mission. Eilburn has commissioned a monument to those who died in the Searing. I am compiling a list of the names of the fallen, but I don't have all the records I need. I believe a copy of the old census might have survived in the ruins of old Ascalon. All right, I'll take care of it. What time is it? It's almost five o'clock. All right. I'll probably be going for about another hour here. I'll do some. Uh... Actually, can I actually activate Great Northern Wall right now? I'm not actually going to do Great Northern Wall now. I'm, I'm gonna bum around and get more uh, skills first, but I think, yeah, I can actually unlock the outpost at least. I'll do that. Zeishin guy. Yep. All right, I will port back here because it gets me a little closer to the door. So hard to watch anyone with no money start out. You know, and you know what? I had more money than a lot of people, you know, coming in here. I had, like, what, about 800 gold? That's more money than, like... <laughs> 
I think I was watching, you know, Rick had come over last night and she had like maybe, you know, 150 gold, something like that. She wasn't able to get much. Um, oh yeah, he wants me to take Nietzsche. Oh, they, uh, it auto filled my, uh, my team here. You know, I'm going to just go with three for now. I think that's all the people that actually, I'm gonna check Captain Arn real quick. He, there's a chance he might have something. He does not. Yep, all right, I guess we're just going straight to the ambassador. Right. Oh, we got two. That's right. That's old Ascalon. It's going to take me down into, I think, Regent Valley. I mean, I just want to give you 20 plat and a few materials. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I've kind of been going through the same thing as I've, because I've, I've been hanging around the other, you know, Guild Wars One streamers. A lot of whom have been also going through pre-searing and and everything, and I'm the same way. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll give you stuff. It's fine, but I also respect the uh, you know people not wanting to get free stuff because uh, military matters. Oh, there's the one with the uh, the thing because there's a certain amount of it's like you want to earn it. You know, you want to earn the rewards. So, even if this armor isn't really worth it. Yeah, but you know what? It's like I've got a long way to go before. Because, I mean, that level, that uh, armor level 30 armor, that's decent, I think, all the way to Krita, isn't it? So, that's kind of the one that I want to I save for. You have something of a military emergency. When Baradun and his vanguard broke through the Char Alliance to Piken Square, they created a weak point in our own line. Our scouts report the Char forces are massing to try to break through the breach. We have not enough men to... We need to reassign our forces quickly. If you're willing, I'd like you to gather your group of patrol. that's patrolling the road in Regent Valley. I think I'm headed that way anyway for the census. Patrol leader is Sergeant Clark. Power attack and sprint. All right. Sprint, yes. So, I'm going to have to go back, and I might need to make a little screen grab here, but I believe Elysia was just dancing, and there's one move she does. She does this. It looked like she was doing it right on Warmaster's uh, crotch. I'm going to have to go back and look at that. You know, for the highlight reel. Uh, let's see. I'll make, that, I'll make that the thumbnail of the actual video. Let's see, ever since that one random guy gave me an S, uh, Celestial Sword, 250 War Supplies, and Ecto, I always want the item giveaway. Yeah. I'm sure your warrior's got to be tough to survive in Ascalon after the searing. you got to show me some prowess in battle before I acknowledge you as a true warrior. Defeat five of Shatter or Flash Gargoyles. And I will get Wild Blows, several, several Argery, and Gash, and Healing Signet, which I already have three of those. I don't think I have Wild Blow. Actually, I might have. Wild Blow is a... Uh, that's not an attribute-specific one, is it? Or is it a tactic? Oh, no, I guess I don't have that one yet. Or is that a hammer one? Well, whatever the case. I don't have it yet, but I do have the other three. So, And I do like unlocking skills as we go. Yeah, well, it stands for removal. I thought it was a knockdown. Or is it a knockdown too? Or is that... Or maybe just... I guess just stands for removal, maybe. A message with the Royal Sea. Let's see. Honored ambassador, etc., etc. Your request for permission to enter the city and address the people of Ascalon is emphatically denied. This being the force of such denial. Oh, persistence. His Majesty bids you to reconsider this ill-conceived journey and contemplate a return to Krita. Get out. 
King Edelburn and I have learned very dis different lessons from the wars of the past. Isolation is not the answer. Only in peace and mutual friendship shall we find our salvation. We still have hope that in time he will rea realize the truth of this. Yeah, as long as you're wearing that outfit, though, I'm not going to trust you. Woohoo, 50 gold. Yeah, rich man again. What am I at? 98. Almost 100. Let's see. Helping the people ask long. That's going to be Ellie Rigby, isn't it? Do not understand that my presence generates from the king. It's your outfit, man. I can seek only to help the people of Ascalon. You could help me in this cause. I have a shipment of supplies I was going to deliver to an Ascalonian woman named Ellie Rigby. Eleanor Rigby. She runs an orphanage for those who have lost their parents in these evil times. King Edelburn, however, will not let me in the city to deliver these supplies. Yeah, I'll, 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 be, the, I'll be a shuttle. I'll take that stuff. Oh, for great justice. And mending. And then he has one more. That's right, they just start throwing you a bunch of quests here that just take you everywhere. Despite the current peace being between uh, current peace between Krita and Asklon, your King Edelburn still chooses to view all Krytons with distrust. I'm telling you, man, it's the outfit. He respects the old laws too much to do anything untoward. But I must take care not to give him an excuse to expel me from the kingdom. Therein lies my trouble. Unable to enter the city, my men have been forced to travel south to Regent Valley to resupply and have been victimized by a bandit named Torin. We would hunt down Torin ourselves, but shedding blood of Nascalon, even a criminal like Torin, might be a mistake. Yeah, I'll kill, kill for you. I think that'll be a better axe. I do like that this one's giving me a plus 15 health and an extra 10% in that stance, although it is low enough, it probably doesn't really matter. Witness Rastin. Rastin's ritual, if I recall. Unseen ones protect you. This land has seen much tragedy. Even in this place, I feel spirits of the dead filled with confusion and anger. I concentrate, cons consecrate this ground so that the dead may have some peace, but I will need very special items for the ceremony. I believe there is a craftsman here in El Ascon, or art artisan David, 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 whatever. He's capable of fashioning exactly what I need. Yeah, he uh, he makes all kinds of rare materials. Take this list to him and bring back the supplies. Oh, I should have brought wood with the wood with me, because he can. Uh, I'm gonna need some parchment at some point, aren't I? Well, actually, the Sardlac Sanitarium is right next to him, so I can just go in there. I'll go ahead and do this one and unlock uh, Sarvalac. Oh, and also kill some gargoyles because that was also a quest. Kill five of these guys. that over there. Oh, there's a collector. Okay. Points. I have points to do with. Get these guys first. I have to move that. Get Sardlac Sanitary. Yep, I'm planning to. I'm going to go talk to Artisan David, and he is right outside Sardlac. If I recall, oops, spend attribute points. Oh, can you not move? Oh, I guess uh, the spend attribute points, yeah, it's linked to your level. All right. Well, you know what? That's fine. I'll just park that over here. having my effects here. Okay. Yeah, 
that. Okay, that's on that side. That's the way I like it. Uh, let's see. We'll go more axe. What am I doing on gargoyles, actually? Two. I need three more. Get this one. I think there's another couple. Actually, can I go down here? Looks like I can. Yeah, I'll get this one. Uh, well, you know what? Fine. Here, take some cast magic. Okay, now the aggro is on. I gotta remember, I'm, I'm in post now. I, I take a little bit more, uh, a little bit more damage. <laughs> Imagine bird. It knows that I want sprint eventually. Except for waking up all the other devourers. Really, guys? Henchman aggro. I'll just go get this one, famous last words. Yep, I'm guilty of that. That was uh, happening yesterday in Tomb of the Primeval Kings. I'll just move right here. Pop-ups. Although I did know in advance that was gonna happen. It's just I never knew exactly where it was going to happen. And I always, I always knew it was in my head until the exact moment before it happened. I would always forget it right before it mattered. I got it done though, yeah. It was fun. You know, it, it was nice uh, going through some of the old stomping grounds. Even if I didn't entirely remember all of it. But again, that's that's kind of the point of that, uh, that stream. I still need to decide, you know, what, uh, what am I gonna do next weekend? You know, what, what dungeon should I pick up? It, not slave, not Slaver's Isle. <laughs> I'm going to say Slaver's Isle for like the last, you know, in the series. But, uh, what, what other, I was thinking like it might be time to move to the High of the North dungeons. I can do, uh, Fissure of Woe. I can do those quests with, with, uh, Heroes and Hench can't really do or at least I was never able to do underworld with heroes mainly because I could do most of it but I couldn't do there's the one quest where you have to guard something from like two directions and so you have to sort of have to split your party that's where I always failed on underworld so that's not really a I'm going to do that Frostmoss Burrows that's definitely on the list but the thing Frostmoss you know maybe I will the thing with Frostmaws is uh, that's one that I actually do have a fairly clear memory of. Not necessarily the uh, the layout of the dungeon, but of course the worms and worm bile. Um, but again, I can't really say anything because it's sort of a similar thing to Tomb of the Primeval Kings. I remembered a decent amount of it, so probably about as much as I remember about uh, Frostmaws Burrows. List of things for Ritness Rastin. I must say you're lucky I got all this here. Some unusual quests indeed. 
Well, there you go. That's everything on his list. While you're here, you might see if I can make anything special. Yeah, what can you do? Old parchment, leather. Yep, yep, yep. Goodbye. And I will go to Sardalac, which is right down here. Worm Bile is evil incarnate. Yeah, I uh, I was able to do it in hard mode back in the day. Oh yeah, shields are gonna start costing uh, tactics. That's a bummer. Oh, but it's only the same, but it does give elemental. See, this is the bummer thing. I, what I think I'm gonna end up doing with this character is running a martial weapon main hand and then probably a magic offhand like a you know divine symbol or something because I don't want to be putting points into tactics it just feels like a waste of a waste of points easy get on those click yeah scorched loads so, yeah there's a ton of the uh, the guys right around here Red scroll jeweled staff nothing monk specific maybe I will maybe I will do uh, frost moss because I do remember it I do remember taking care, you know, knowing roughly where the worm pop-ups are so that I could uh, have some AOE interruption on hand. Five to eight, have skill recharge of spells. That's the same as my fire staff, isn't it? Improved sale value. Well, I can use the money. It's the same stats, but otherwise, you know what? I will get these because these give me those fragments. Uh, where's this chest? And frost moths, you never want to bother patrols while engaging a worm. Yep. Yeah, frost moths is, uh, from what I remember, it was a similar thing. It's like, the minute you aggro something, you had to be on the lookout because chances are there's going to be a worm coming for you not too far behind. Oh, I could salvage the rest of these. Blah, 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 blah. And sell this stuff for some money. I don't know how long I'm going to keep that extra sword. I don't want to get rid of it just yet, though. Twenty, sixty-eight. I'm almost to two hundred gold. All right. So, return to Warmaster Grass. I'm thinking we should do the Regent Valley stuff. Actually, I'll go out the door here and see. See where the census is. I forget it. Oh, that's up by the wall, isn't it? Oh, no. It's right over here. I shall go that way then. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just grab the fourth, the fourth hench. Just because... difficulty yet although I do have healers that are over here that are going to burn through and I think you can over aggro I have a dim memory vanquishing this area these these healer grawls you know a there's a lot more of them and man the chain healing that they would start doing oh there's Gwen's broken flute Oh, I can't. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to go this way. That thing is broken. Make sure you don't pick a warrior. Wouldn't front want front. Yeah, I was thinking that. It's like, no, someone's going to be on the front line. It's going to be me. 
that it mattered. Those guys just really don't care, do they? They're like, nope, we, we can't be bothered. We're late, we're late for the football game. Oh yeah, Grasden's here. He's got the quest. And there's the chest, I think, that has the census. Protecting Ascon. We must do all our part. If you wish to help, I have a task for you. One of our order named Paulus. Yeah, I had to escort him in pre. Center Regent Valley. To investigate a strange poisonous area. He's overdue to return. We'll go and find him. Sure. Heal area and vital blessing. Yep, so get some monk skills. Sowing seeds. This fellow here needs getting needs help getting to Ascalon City to purchase grain for us. I'm gonna hold on that. I'm gonna go grab the census first. Because I believe that is an escort quest. I need to follow him all the way back to ask one. It's like, no, I wanna do this one first. So that way I get to ask one and I can turn in Simon's deal too. Trying to be efficient just from what I remember. Uh, Mock Wagwag, if that is your real name. Chest is down there. Man, you can make me go around. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that, that ranger dude hurts. Hammers, man. Oh, Orion's in trouble. Come back here and die. <laughs> Elysia. I'm telling you, monk tanking. It's a thing. Start, start the fashion. Is he going to bring that? Fireball? That's going to hurt somebody. Not me. Because they don't give a damn about me. That wall, yep. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's hurtful. This guy needs to go down. running. Stop running. The cry of every warrior melee character in this game. Alright, where's that chest? Census. Alright, now I shall go back to Grasden. I wonder if it'll auto path all the way from here. Nope. Too much debris. So 
So let me see. Yeah, that's right. Escort. Armor. Come on. Got a little bit of a morale boost. Guess we're going this way. Wait, dude, come on. spawn some like extra gargoyles or something along the path because otherwise we just cleared this area earlier oh no I think there's more devourers actually I think there's both yeah I have a vague memory Farmer Hammett actually a healer? Looks like he's running some healing skills. Well, Farmer Hammett's level 10. Oh, he's, I don't need to worry about him. He can get through this whole area himself, probably. Most of the others never made it this well far. You're doing well. Almost sounds like this guy's just, you know, it's what he does. He just leads a bunch of people on this, uh, this death run. There's War Master Grad. Oh, yeah, I need to turn in something for him, I think. Why are you going this way, man? I think there's another group up here. Yep. Oh, no, there he is. Thanks for the escort I can take from here. Oh, yeah, this is just a little bit of, uh... No crate will be able to be a friend of Ascalon. Be foolish, old man. If you have not noticed, Ascalon has no position to turn away help, even from those who were once enemies. Grow tired of this. Step aside this instant. We're here to arrest Ambassador Zane and try him as a traitor of this nation. How is he a traitor of this nation if he's not even of this nation? Jeopardize fate of Ascalon. Go home, father. This Crichton will be the death of us all. Mm. No, not really. Yeah, it looks like.
looks like Grast took care of his devourer problem. So to turn in for him. Oh, that's right. Log low. Always a critical. Remove his dance. Use all adrenaline. You know what? I don't think I'm going to be using uh, Frenzy anytime soon. Oh. And actually... Wait a minute. Go back to Graston. All right. I think... Okay, I can turn in at Simon. Turn in at Ellie Rigby. Yeah. So I will turn in these two. Go to Sardalak since it's close to Grasden. And then turn in there. And then I will head into Regent. Check. Nope. Although, I think I might have enough of the glittering dust for that headpiece. when we first get to the uh, when the first expert salvage kits show up am I doing oh, I'm almost out of identify kits too so keep that around oh and actually you know what I should do in town just have this on my chest open the whole time flute in there since that's not going to be a thing for a while. Trick or treat bags I don't care about. Except for red eyeless flowers. Alright. So Corwin. Oh I also need to hit this armor or the weapon dude to customize the weapons I have. Get that extra 20%. It'll amount for like one hit point more. Oh, 65. <laughs> the struggle. The struggle continues. That's fine. I'm, I'm not hurting yet. Control Master's got something. Defend the wall. Oh, he wants me to go to Great Northern Wall. Okay. I don't know that I'll do Great Northern Wall. Um, you know, actually, maybe I will. Uh, maybe I'll turn in this stuff and then do Great Northern Wall, because that'll take me about, that'll probably take me to about six or so, which is when I was going to sign off. There's trouble with Great Northern Wall. Go. Since Althea's disappearance, Prince has grown increasingly reckless. Helping the people go and tell our mutual friend that these supplies will be put to good use. All right, I will cash in at uh, Simon the Scribe, he's the other one. You know what's actually kind of killing me more than not having gold or stuff for armor? Is not having a, a like yellow dye. I'm, the, the gray greed of that uh, piece is really that top piece is really getting me. All right, yeah, so I was going to do the grass and stuff, but now I'm going to do Great Northern Wall. I think um, running a mission would be a good, uh, good close out here. Squires 
Zachary, cash in. It's an honor to meet you. What is my experience at? Oh, yeah, just there. Captain Callan is in charge, and I'm out of And I'm not so important that they tell me anything, to be honest. Gather a few allies and go in. First mission. I will take my chances without, uh, without a proper tank. I will be the tank. Search around for the wall to find the Char army and report back to Captain Callan. We fear the Char General Bonfaz burnt for... God, these names, man. Head north and find out what he's got planned. Maybe I should have done... Sergeant Clark. Yeah, that would take me a little while. I think that takes you like Fort Granick or something. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. I, I can go sprintless for another day. I did always like the missions, the ideal, the idea of missions. It's like, yes, go in, have an objective. It's kind of like a dungeon, you know, just a little more of a story based kind of a setup, though. Progresses the story. Boy, they are just. So whip tails are using lightning reflexes. I forget. Is that a stance? I would think that's a stance. But Wavlo doesn't seem to be removing it. Oh, hey, there's a healer in there. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, those guys are trying to lead me into a trap. First time chat, alert cake. Want to become fit? Oh, pff. that's not a, that's not a chat. Hang on. 
That's not a real person. Hang on. I need to figure out how to. Block. Ladies and gentlemen, I just had my first bot. Woo! It feels like I've passed some threshold here. It's like I'm like actually on the internet now. All right. Black rock spit. I don't know who got paid to come up with some of these names. So this is the quest, or the mission, I believe, with the ghost, Kiln Testigree's armor. Oh yes, wreckage. Yeah, you search the wreckage for pieces of his armor, and there's four pieces. This is where, you know, the x-ray, long distance vision is, is nice. So, other guys that have been in uh, streaming. So this uh, this bot chat. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna actually delete that. I blocked the user. How do I actually delete? I know it's a thing you can do. I just reply slash delete. Nope, that doesn't seem to do it. Well, that's something I'll have to look up at some point. Unless anyone in chat has a uh, nose. I get enough followers I can set up I know I can set up like moderators and VIPs but I'll I'm still too low in the Whoa hey we got a lot of guys here tank in there, Alicia. She's a better tank than I am at this point, probably. Yellow die! Oh, yes. Happiness. I can get rid of this color. And it even matches my pants. Wreckage.
just a moment. I want to check something. See if I can more easily delete that message directly from Twitch. I've got the stream chat in uh, Streamlabs, but I don't know that I have the option there. I mean, I would imagine I do. I just don't see it. Doesn't really look like it. I don't see anything obvious. Hmm. Oh well, I give up on that. But that is definitely something I'll be looking at for next time so I can I'll be able to clean up the chat. Guys are down there. Do we can come around? Aggro on that shatter. Yeah, I can't get down there yet. A little scary there for a second, but all right, yeah, there's wreckage back here. There's the ghost. There's some more wreckage there. I don't think that's the same one we were at before. That's the fourth wreckage up there. You, know, you get to the ghost and already have all four pieces for him, it looks like. Huh. 
run away at the... <laughs> Could have gone the whole way. The whole way around. Probably should have switched to sword for this. Because I'm not in so many uh, group fights anymore. Oh well. I think ultimately I'm going that way, but I'm going to do the bonus here first, which takes me north. That's the third piece like the fourth piece was up back up here somewhere there it is over there I'm guessing he's Grawl. Especially since there's other Grawl here in the area. Monk, even. There it is. Wreckage is back here. So this is all four pieces. Nice, all four pieces of the ghost armor before we even got to the ghost. I love it. He'll be like, he'll say, yes, noble warrior, if you can find my armor, I would appreciate if you could return to me. Like, oh, you mean this? How did you know? Life, I was known the champion of Sermia, and death I am but a restless spirit. Please help me. The enchanted armor that sealed my tomb has been stolen. Find it and return it to me so that I may pass into the rift. Do you mean this stuff? Done. All right. Now it's a bit of a long walk back to where the char. I think this is going to time out just about right, though. About 10 to 6. 6 o'clock is about when we usually feed the cats, so. And that's usually my job. So. We'll finish up this mission, do a little bit of post mission inventory cleaning, and. 
depending who's in chat, if there's anybody left, and if any other uh, streamers are running, we might uh, might do a mini raid on someone else. We'll see. a mesmer all right Ooh, which means he's potentially dangerous for me there's my haste oh, one then as a monk it is my duty to not trust mesmers like at all Those warriors back there, they're very straightforward. All right. Aggressive, but straightforward. There's a collector later that has use for char hide. You can get some good stuff from them. I forget exactly what it was. I should say good stuff for your level. Oh, I think we're actually already almost at the end. I think we just climb around here. We check out the char and then we just run back. We have to run back. Is it here? No. Oh, maybe it's here. Char invasion force. Captain Callan was right. They've spotted us. Back to the wall. <laughs> it put my character down in the corner exactly where my my camera head is. If I'd been thinking I would have I would have uh, said that line as she did. I would have fooled everybody. Captain Callan was right. Run away. Three minutes to get. Wow, those those that group is really, really tight on our tails. I might might be losing the henchmen to them. Oh yeah, they're gaining. They're gonna come up, they're gonna... Oh, they... looks like they sort of got away. Never mind devourers, I don't have time for you. Any one of your party members reaches Captain Callan with news of the char invasion, your entire party will win the mission. Yeah, henchmen, you, you go ahead. I'll, I'll take care of these guys. That's actually one of the funner things to do is, yeah, when you hit level 20 and you get more skills, actually do this mission. You can you can wipe out the army. Yeah, I mean, the time still ticks down. You still have to make it to Callan and report that the char army is coming, except that I just killed them all. It is a fun little thing to do, though. Oh, all my, all my heroes actually made it. What you're finding is to Captain Callan. That's just a straight shot from here. Oh, 
put these just down. I'll plant my heroes there. Come on, talk. speak. <laughs> All the char piled up at the door right there. All right, so yeah, just shy of six o'clock. That's pretty much exactly what I was hoping would happen. Ooh, highly salvageable. Seven wood. That I suppose that's highly salvageable for uh, for early early area. I am going to put char hides here though because I do want to hit that collector later on. I forget exactly what they give, but I seem to remember whatever it is they give, it's good stuff. There's a chance I might need a singed gargoyle skull for a collector too. Hedging my bets. Oh, you know what I, I need to get in town? Did this tran oh yeah, it transported me to Fort Rannock. Actually, that'll make it easier to get the Regent Valley stuff. I'm gonna go back to Ascalon City. Actually, no, wait a minute, I don't need to because there should be a merchant here. Where's my money? I'm at 101. Boon of Holding is 500. I've got one of these bags has a ruin of holding, but the other one still doesn't, so I still need uh, a little bit there. All right, well, oh, let me hit the Zomai agent, or chest. It's way up there. Fort Rannick has seen better days. I'm really happy that I got that yellow die drop, though I can have a un unified uh, color. I mean, I've still got the gray-green on my sleeves and sandals, but those aren't as noticeable you know, as, as on the top. So. All right, put this stuff away. And we need to buy our salvage kit. That's for another time. I think I'm going to close it out, close out the stream there. Um, I will take a quick look and see something. Bear with me one moment, please. I'm curious. Let's see. There was a chance that Ricky was going to be online. I thought that would be funny to raid, raid her channel. Um, but no, I'm going to go ahead and close out here, and I will apparently be looking to see how I can delete posts in the chat channel. I mean, I, I blocked and reported this guy, but uh, I'll have to see see how to delete, actually take things that much further. Take things to the next, take, take the banning and deletion to the next level. Anyway, uh, that's it for this weekend. Uh, this was pre-searing character, or new, I should say, new character. Um, it's finally made it to post and did our first mission. I've got just a number of random uh, quests 
to do now, along with the Fort Rannick mission later on. So that'll be that'll be next weekend that I sort of pick up from here. Next Saturday, or I should say next Sunday, is when I'll be continuing on this character. Next Saturday, I will be doing my Saturday dungeon run. And uh, since the only sex suggestion I got was Frostmaw's Burrows, I guess I'm gonna have to do that. I'm like I'm like legally bound uh, to uh, Frostmaw's Burrows now. So we'll we'll see how that is. And since I do remember most of the, that, or not necessarily the layout, but I do remember uh, you know the worms and their worm bile ability. Uh, I'll, I will do the same thing I did with Tomb of Time Primeval Kings. So I'll, I'll try to start out in hard mode. Uh, I, I had like a team interruption build that was helpful with it, uh, but we'll we'll see how that plays because I haven't played in that dungeon for many many years. Anyway, that's me signing off. I will see you guys later on. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.